The Public Office Holder Declaration of Assets and Disqualification Act 1998, Act 550, requires all public office holders to declare their assets and liabilities before assuming office. Failure to do this will require that the office holder is investigated and sanctioned accordingly. But Commissioner of the Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice Joseph Withal argues that the sanctions are not punitive enough. If you look at since the 1992 Constitution came into being, Chapter 24 only gave a skeletal uh, outline of what requires to be done. The nearest we came to is to pass the Act 550, which is the uh, Public Officers Qualification and Disqualification Assets Declaration Act. And that, I think, was a shoddy job done by Parliament. I must say, with all respect to Parliament. If you look at what should be in an asset declaration law, what is provided there is as if we are taking public service as uh, a process by which we want to hide public servants from the people who they are supposed to serve. Public service is a trust. If you want to govern the people well, let the people know before you came into office what assets and liabilities you had. I stress the liabilities too because if you are somebody who is indebted and you come and you take public office, the likelihood is that you may not be able to do, uh, you may be looking for resources to take care of your, your liabilities. So we should make sure that we keep the balance very well. Private legal practitioner Martin Pebu noted that the current form of the conduct of public officers' bill before Parliament needs review. There must be an improvement on this one. This can't be the one because if it's the, two, uh, the we call it 2022, mm -hmm. this one is just a repetition of the current constitutional provision, Article uh, 286, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So it tells you that there is a newer and better version. The US one, you have to apply. Kenya, you have to apply. I've been circulating that because I pulled the Kenya one off the net. Yeah. And you see that you apply and they look at the reasons and determine to give you or not to give you. The focus of the program is to prevent political corruption by requiring public office holders to declare their assets. And the Ghana Center for Democratic Development, CDD Ghana, says spouses of public office holders should also be compelled to declare their assets. That expectation also that if you are in public office, you should amass all these assets and whatever, is also a problem that we have to confront. Publication, regularity, even expanding it uh, to spouses. And that because that's, I mean, the, the evidence is there. We can look at how corruption occurs in our space. And there are cases, convictions, that we know exactly the DNA of corruption in this place. And that should guide us when we are uh, legislating on how to stop it. The dialogue was on the theme fighting public sector corruption in Ghana, making a case for an effective asset declaration law.